CR10959, State of Texas versus Santos Rodriguez. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Daniel Escobar for the state of Texas. Please. Defense? Chris Griffin for Mr. Rodriguez. Are you Mr. Rodriguez? Yes, ma'am. All right, you entered a plea of guilty, <laughs> and we're here. Um, the court requested that a top evaluation be done and also a PSI report. Have both parties reviewed the PSI report, state? Yes, ma'am. Defense? Yes, ma'am. Any objections? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. According to the plea bargain agreement, punishment is to be assessed at one year in the state jail facility, and the state is opposing your application. State, do you have any witnesses? Uh, no, Judge. All right, defense, any witnesses? Just allocution, Judge. All right. Uh, defense, you may proceed. Your Honor, with this defense, uh, Mr. Rodriguez was made contact with police because he was riding a bicycle without lights in the evening. Uh, he consented to a search. Uh, checkbooks were found in his uh, in his backpack. Further investigation by SAPD revealed that a completely separate individual, a Dave Thomas, who I'm assuming is not associated with Wendy's, uh, had actually taken those checks to the HEB parking lot that Mr. Rodriguez had found the checkbook in, and that he had cashed those checks, fingerprints verified that, video verified that a Dave Thomas was cashing these checks. It was not Mr. Rodriguez. At the time, Mr. Rodriguez was homeless. He was having substance abuse issues. Uh, since that time, Judge, he was wanting to make changes in his life because the largest change between then and now is that his girlfriend, ex-girlfriend currently, uh, is pregnant with his first child. He wants to be there for his child. He wants to make a change in his life. Um, He's able to, he's spoken with his mother. He's able to live at his mother's home. His mother is elderly. His brother uh, passed away in March. His sister is in the military and has four, four, years, four more years in Kansas. on her contract at the base she's at in Kansas. Um, he has spoken with, it was, it was right, Steve and Sons. I keep wanting to say Dave and Sons. Yes, Steve Dave and Sons doors. Excuse me. It can't be two people speaking at the same time. If you want to talk to you, I have to be placed on their oath. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, defense. Uh, there's also another company off of 34th Street that his mother has spoken to that he could uh, he could get a point employment with them as well. Uh, and lastly, Governor, I would just point out that uh, the PSI revealed that Mr. Thomas, the individual who actually cashed these checks and was involved with that, he received uh, three months, 10 days in, in state jail. If just if your honor was interested in, in parity of sentencing. All right, anything from the uh, state? Uh, judge, uh, just that he has had several cases where he has been given the opportunity. Uh, back in 2017, he was given the opportunity for two years to defer on a possession less than a gram. Uh, he got revoked on that within a year in the state jail facility. Uh, in 2018, he was sentenced to eight years in the state jail facility. Uh, Our reporter says she can't hear you. Can you step up to the mic? Sorry about that. Uh, he's been given opportunities previously to be on deferred adjudication, and he was not able to successfully complete that deferred adjudication. Uh, the state is asking for 12 months in the state jail. Okay. All right. Is there anything you wish to say, Mr. Rodriguez? Yeah, um, Can you raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God? Yes, ma'am. All right. You can lower your hand. I actually did my sentence from, I was the, he said 12, 7, 2017. I was still in jail in 2017. I didn't get out till 2018. All right. So I want you to focus on why I shouldn't just send you to the state jail facility. That's what I want to focus on. The state wants you to go to the state jail facility because they're saying you're not a good candidate for probation. So my question for you is why shouldn't I just send you to the state jail facility? I've been clean for since I've been in here and I was clean four months before prior. I've been trying to better my life. I actually went into many changes. My brother just recently passed away and I'm trying I gotta be there for my mom. Why do you just know that you need to be there for your my, mom now because, that excuse me. I'm sorry. Why are you just realizing you need to be there for your mom when you were in the free world? and you were not doing anything to be there for your mom. 
because I'm having a child now and I, this is my first. I didn't really know what she was going through, what she did. She did a lot for me and I didn't really pay attention. So I'm going to give you a choice. You can either go to the state jail facility for a year or you can go into inpatient treatment. And that's what's being recommended for you. So which do you prefer? Do you want to do the state jail facility time of one year or do you want to have probation and go into inpatient treatment? I'll take the inpatient treatment now. Okay. All right, this is what the court will do. The court will sentence you um, to one year in the state jail facility, suspended and probated for two years. There's a $500 fine that would be probated. 200 hours of community service restitution. I'm going to want um, parenting classes with Triple P. Once he completes parenting classes, then the community service hours will be deemed to be satisfied. Regular reporting uh, by Zoom or in person. The UA hotline upon release. Uh, I'm going to want SATIF referral. Well, he's already approved for SATIF. So we're going to do SATIF. And we can do a referral to felony drug court as well. He's to remain in custody until uh, transfer to SATIF or felony drug court. Upon release, I'm going to want bill visits one time per month and probation if he's accepted into felony drug court or of course whatever felony drug court uh, conditions have then that's what they have proof of employment within 30 days of release there's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors uh, probation, is there anything that he needs? Anything else? Is there anything else you need from the court in order to be successful? Oh, man. All right. I'm going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's right to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, we can go off the record. If you have a child that's coming into this world, you have elderly parents, uh, you're going to have to start making better decisions. If you are not going to be a parent that this child can be proud of or look up to and want to imitate, then do not bother being in that child's life. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Actually, right. um, hmm? with the money that we're going to be getting from my brother's section of debt, I just actually use my cut for uh, opening a nonprofit organization in his memory to help people. All right. Good for you. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you. You're welcome. 523 State of Texas versus Fannie Stewart. Could I have parties announced for the record? Jason Garrett for the state, Your Honor. Defense? Lisa Garcia for the defendant. And are you Miss Fannie Stewart? All right. Counsel, have you received all the discovery and did you review it with your attorney? I'm sorry, with your client. <laughs> yes, I did, Judge. You can tell it's been a long day. <laughs> Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Ms. Stewart, I'm showing you what's entitled application for community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Showing you what's entitled true bill of indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, do you weigh the reading of the indictment? I did. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? We are, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, Ms. Stewart, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes. Did you understand you're charged with theft under $2,500 enhanced as a state jail felony? The range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and up to $10,000 fine. Yes. Stipulations. 
Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments. Court has reviewed the same. The court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty, and the court will find you guilty. Are we proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Judge. All right, Ms. Stewart. Yes. Why were you taking baby formula? Oh, because my daughter have a premature baby, but I have a food stamps, mm -hmm. and because I have a mental problems, okay. I forgot to pay for them. Okay. Yes. And, and Judge, we were going to be asking to maybe have her uh, evaluated for her mental health. Mental health. All right. Uh, do you have a place to live? Yes. All right. I'm going to uh, allow you to do your make evaluation outside the jail. But if you miss any of your appointments, what's going to end up happening is a motion to revoke is going to be filed. You're going to get taken into custody. And then either you're going to get revoked or either I'm going to have that evaluation done while you're in custody. You understand? Yeah, I go for the Senate of Health Services for mental health. Okay. Yeah. Can we go off the record? Yes, sir. All right. So according to your plea bargain agreement, it's going to be a 1240 day with eight days in the Barrett County Jail and no application. Did you understand that to be the agreement? Yes. Does everybody understand that to be the agreement? Yes, that is exactly the agreement. Any objections? No, Your Honor. No objections. All right. Uh, the, as previously stated, the court is finding you guilty. The court will sentence you to uh, eight days in the Barrett County Jail under 1244 give you credit for any time served and the court will, will show that the judgment is satisfied. I'm going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants rights to appeal. Did you review this document uh, with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes. All right. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes. And because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. Do you understand? Yes. All right, we can go off the record. Thank you. Ms. Stewart, the only reason why um, I went along with this, and I know the only reason why the state and your attorney agreed to it is because I can see the items that you took were baby formula. And I know that there are some mental health issues, but your attorney has assured the court that you're going back to Center for Healthcare Services to make sure that you yes. uh, do that. Here's the other thing. I understand that that's not your child. Do not let people come up to you to try to take the benefits that you have for them. You understand? Yes. So if they need benefits, then they'll have to take care of that on their own. You're not supposed to do that, all right? Okay. And you cannot go in a store and just take items. I will tell you, if you go to the HEB, HEB is pretty um, reasonable. If you go in and you tell them, or that person who needs baby formula tells them that they need baby formula, they will usually help you with that. Or either you can go to uh, different uh, food banks, the San Antonio Food Bank, they have baby formula. You understand? Yes. All right, good luck to you. Thank you. You're